We're kicking off the 2011 Bowl Championship Series with number 18 TCU and number 15 Clemson. It's Mountain West champ against ACC champion, champion versus champion at the Beefo Brady's Bowl. Well, here we are, the traditional start to the Bowl Championship Series. It's the Beefo Brady's Bowl. It always kicks us off here on Thursday. And, of course, it's Clemson and TCU, as we just talked about here on this early Thursday morning. And we're talking about a unique atmosphere in Tropicana, in Tropicana Field inside the Dome. But we've heard in years past that it's, there's not really a football-esque atmosphere in Tropicana Dome, being inside the Dome with the big, you know, white wall. So what they've done is they've brought in these multi-million dollar digital projectors and they've projected an image of the Tampa Bay sky on this dome so it appears that we're actually outdoors, but we're not. We're inside a dome and this is actually a multi-million dollar projected image up across the top of the dome to make it appear that we are outside, which is pretty cool. And there you see the flyby of uh, the projected image, also multi-million dollars. So we are in the dome here, Tropicana Field, the Clemson Tigers and the TCU Horned Frogs uh, coming in number uh, 15 for Clemson and number 18 for TCU. Ed Wesley, part of that three-headed monster on the TCU rushing attack coach Gary Patterson and company. And we're expecting a really good one to kick off this Beef O'Grady's Bowl. Last year's Beef O'Grady's Bowl between Alabama and Texas A&M. It went into overtime before we found out who the winner was. And speaking of Alabama, the winner of this game will move on to the second round to play either the Alabama Crimson Tide or the NIU Huskies. But let's get this thing started. It's the BCS playoffs and we're ready to go. Clemson's going to get the ball first. And we'll see what Taj Boyd and this Clemson offense does with the ball. An interesting battle of conference champion versus conference champion. The ACC champs against the Mountain West champs. They're going to start it off with a throw. Completed pass. And that's going to be a three-yard completion. Here comes the hurry-up offense from the Clemson Tigers. The ACC champions, both teams coming into this game with only one blemish on their record. Taj Boyd's going to run it. And he doesn't get too far before he gets tackled. Both teams only two losses on their record. And both teams are their conference champions. Clemson was eyeing that Belk Bowl all year long. But it got taken. So here we are in the Beef of Brady's Bowl. And we are jam-packed. Sold out to the Raptors. And on the running play, they're going to be stopped. And the Tigers are going to go three and out. That was Andre Ellington on the run. And that's a quick three and out for the Tigers. And... That's where the Horn Frog will take over. Here comes the kick return. Fielded around the 25 up to the 32. And that's where Casey Paul Hall and these TCU Horn Frogs will get the football. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. They're going to start off with Wildcat. They're not going to have Paul Hall in there. They gave that one on the wide receiver sweep and you see there to the man to number 82 the man that got a josh boyce and he's done so it'll be second down this time they give it to ed wesley they stick with the traditional running back and ed wesley barrels forward for a first down ed wesley one of three running backs has carried the ball over a hundred times for the horn frogs wesley's carried it for 649 yards this year and five touchdowns. First first down of the bowl season, of course, this game on ESPN. On ESPN2 is the first, oh, incomplete first uh, NIT game ever in bowl championship series history. That's going on right now on ESPN2. That's the BBVA Compass Bowl. We're focused inside Tropicana Field, inside the dome, and Casey Paul Hall has an open receiver, and that is another Horned Frogs first down, and it was the running back, Ed Wesley, who catches it. And the fans, not only in Tampa that have come out for this game, but fans that have made the trip, trip from Clemson, and then fans that have also made the trip from Texas 
for this one. The Beefo Brady's Bowl it always traditionally kicks off the bowl playoff season. Out of shotgun with three backs. Casey Paul Hall open receiver inside the 30-yard line. And that's going to be another Horned Frog first down. He wet. He took the shot. And what a great quarterback to stay in there, take the hit, as long as you get the completion. And it was Matthew Tucker who was in on the reception. Tucker is the other part of that three-headed monster in the running game. 684 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns leads the team in touchdowns. The, that's not a quarterback, of course. Paul Hall to 24 touchdowns. But on the option play, Paul Hall keeps it himself. And he's able to gain one. Bring up second down. And it's just Matthew Tucker's eighth, re eighth reception on the year. Second and nine. Paul Hall. Lots of time. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the near side. And that's going to be nabbed by Ed Wesley. So the running backs have been making a big impact in the receiving game. In the early part of the Beefo Brady's Bowl. Third and two, and do the Horned Frogs dare let the running backs run it? They do. Ed Wesley, clear path up the middle, and that's a Horned Frogs first down, first and ten for TCU. And on their opening drive, they're rolling. The Horned Frogs, they've had successful seasons in the past. They've always done awful in the Bowl Championship Series. We remember two years ago, completely undefeated, upset in the first round by East Carolina. First and ten, Paul Hall overthrows his receiver incomplete. Last year, completely undefeated. They were down 17-0 in the Armed Forces Bowl to Tulsa. They had to score 35 on answer to win. And then they went to the Alamo Bowl, and they were defeated by Oklahoma State. TCU, Casey Paul Hall play action. And he keeps himself for four. And then, of course, a couple of years ago, they made it to the second round, and then they were eliminated 34-0 to the Utah Utes, a conference team back in the day, and they just haven't had good experience in the playoffs. Maybe this will change their luck. Screen pass was believed to, it was to uh, number 13 on the TCU Horn Frogs brought in there by Anton Hicks, and now they're going to have to settle for a field goal. Not what TCU wanted on this great opening drive, but they'll settle for it. The Erie Patterson will on a 12-play, 62-yard drive that ate up two and a half minutes, and Ross Edmonds will give them the field goal. So let's see how the Tigers respond to this one. The Clemson Tigers, of course, led by head coach Dabo Sweeney. They are the ACC champions. Second down and five for Clemson. Tosh Boyd. And I think I most misspoke earlier. Clemson with three losses to their name, not two. I thought they had two, but I was just looking at it and they only have... They have three, not two, so pardon me. Third down and three for Clemson. Tosh Boyd under center. He looks to the sideline and gets the call from Dabo. We got a wide receiver in motion. They give it to him. That's going to be a Clemson first down. They handed that one off. So you saw the man number six, and that is wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins for a Clemson Tiger first down. And they go to that quick no huddle. Boyd, he's going to run it, Taj Boyd slides down just shy of the first down for a seven yard gain, getting down to the end of the first quarter here on the Beefo Brady's Bowl at Tropicana Field inside the Dome in St. Pete, Florida, second and three, they're going to go with that wide receiver sweep again to Hopkins and He's met at the line and gets dropped for a gain of zero. So it's third down and three. Clemson is stacking the line. Look at this formation. Look at how many O-linemen they have. But instead, it's going to be a screen pass. And they got TCU on that one. Everybody was watching as Clemson stacked the line. Had all those offensive linemen. And then Boyd drops back. Screen passes it out to tight end Drew Taylor. 
And that was good enough for a first down. And we come to the end of the first quarter here, the first bowl game of the Bowl Championship Series playoffs. It's TCU 3 and Clemson 0. Clemson so far has been responding a lot better on this drive than they did on their opening three and out. Boyd has his man in motion again. He gives it to him and met by a horned frog brick wall. Tackled for a loss of two yards and credit the man on that one. Safe, safety Elijah of Alaboden. The safety. Second and 12. Inside handoff, loss of a yard, so that'll be third and 13, and Taj Boyd's going to have to put it in the air. Number 15 is on the ropes right now, early. Boyd. Pressure, quarterback sack, Hang, help, held on to it way too long, and down went Taj Boyd. He was dropped by Jeremy Coleman. One more time, Boyd, he tried to escape it, but it didn't happen for him. Down he goes, Gary Patterson says, that's my TCU defense, and Clemson, for the second time today, are going to be forced to punt it away on a 4th and 21 at the Beefo Brady's Bowl. Here comes the Horned Frogs. Can Casey Paul Hall drive again? They drove all the way down last time they had the ball, and they were stalled out and held to a field goal. What's going to happen this time around? They play action fake it. Is that going to be a penalty? Casey Paul Hall wants it. Ed Hockley Jr. is keeping the flag in the pocket. Paul Hall ran in. He looked like he was ripped down by the face mask, so the Tigers are going to get away with one. Second and 11. Paul Hall to Wesley. And Wesley's tackled, gains two yards, so defenses early on doing pretty well. Clemson's defense starting to stack up now. Third down and nine. Paul Hall going deep. Incomplete third into double coverage, and the Clemson Tiger defense stands tall on that drive. And the TCU Horned Frogs will be forced to punt it away. The fans here having a good time. These student athletes just got done having a week's vacation in the greater St. Pete, Tampa Bay area. And a reward for winning this game is you get to move on and enjoy another week of vacation. Who wants that extra week of vacation? Is it Clemson at number 15 or is it TCU at number 18? Tosh Boyd. And awaiting one of these two teams is either the Alabama Crimson Tide or the Northern Illinois Huskies. And we'll decide the GoDaddy.com Bowl in a couple of days. Taj Boyd, once again, this time he keeps it himself, and again he goes down. So right now, actually that wasn't Taj Boyd, they were doing some Wildcat. Now we got some chippiness going on down there at the bowl. At Tropicana Field, pardon me, at the Trop, we call it. Third down and 14 for Clemson. Boyd, deep, down the field. Open receiver, touchdown, Clemson Tigers for a struggling offense. It just takes one flick of the Tosh Boyd wrist. Wrist to get it in to his wide receiver, Matt Porter. And that is a touchdown for the Clemson Tigers. Extra point is up and it's good and the Tigers, they have the lead. Oh, Sammy Watkins, pardon me. I don't know why I said. Matt Porter. Well, it's TCU football now. That was uh, Sammy Watkins, who, of course, leads the team. With 11 touchdowns, and he adds touchdown number 12. 
Wow, what a quick strike that was from Clemson. How does the Horn Frogs respond? Paul Hall. First down, TCU. Taking a look at the replay one more time. Just a nice little light touch pass. Drop that into Sky Dawson's hands. So the Horned Frogs are going to have to respond to the Clemson Tigers. It's first and ten. Paul Hall's in shotgun. He has a nice block from Ed Wesley, finds an open man, and that's going to be another TCU first down. He got that one out to the tight end on that play. You see him breaking tackles and then running the route down to the sidelines. Logan Brock. Fresh set of downs for the Frogs. They got the ball at the 47-yard line, trying to get into Clemson territory. This time it's Wildcat. It was a halfback direct sneak from Wesley. Didn't fool the Clemson Tigers at all. That's going to be a loss of two yards. So we're seeing both coaches kind of playing a chess match with each other a little bit. A lot of this Wildcat formation, halfback direct snaps, wide receiver sweeps, and both defenses have had it down pat so far. And that's incomplete. Paul Hall can't find. He was looking for Sky Dawson on the play. Third down and 12 for TCU. Can the Frogs convert? Interception! Intercepted by the Clemson Tigers. We are going the other way. Casey Paul Hall throws that one right into the hands of a Clemson defensive back. That was just way too easy. Way too easy for the Clemson Tigers. Number 29 cornerback Xavier Brewer threw that pick and Gary Patterson all over his quarterback Casey Paul, just his seventh interception of the year. And while TCU looked like they were going to drive on this team, it's now Clemson with all the momentum. Boyd completes it for a Clemson Tiger first down. They got the two-minute drill now. Trying to add on to this lead. First and ten. Two backs in the backfield, two, three wideouts. Boyd's pressured. Screen pass. Breaks free. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson Tigers. Andre Ellington on the beautiful screen play. All the way to the end zone for the running back, Andre Ellington. And TCU fans that made the trip over to Tampa. They were wondering what happened, the three and out, the successful drive that ended in a field goal, and then after that, it's been all Clemson. 14 unanswered for the Tigers. How do the Horned Frogs respond? They have a minute and 32 seconds to do it, and that beautiful multi-million dollar projection of the Tampa Bay sky on this dome looks so great. Maybe they'll do that for baseball season and kind of give it more of an outdoorsy feel. I mean, we're in the dome, but it feels like we're outside because of this multi-million dollar projection they have on the dome roof. It's pretty amazing. One minute, 30 seconds to go for TCU. Paul Hall heaves it over through his wide receiver. He was wide open, and that could have easily cut that Clemson deficit down to four points, but Paul Hall... Can't find his man. Second and ten now for the Horn Frogs. Another overthrown ball, and right now Casey Paul Hall and his receivers out of sync. Out of sync in a bad way. Third and ten. 
And if you don't convert, now you're in danger of giving this quick strike Clemson offense the ball back with a minute to go. Pressured, quarterback sack, down goes Casey Paul Hall. Couldn't get a number, I saw a four. Don't know who got you the sack, but Clemson used the timeout, and we'll see if the Tigers can add on to this lead. Punt return to the 40-yard line, fighting to the 40-yard line, so we'll see now. What is this Tigers team made of? The ACC, what a, what a way to start off the Bowl Championship Series playoffs with the ACC champions versus the Mountain West champions. Conference champ versus conference champ. Boyd, so much time, screams it out to the running back again for a three-yard pickup, and Clemson uses its second timeout. One minute to go. Boyd. Across the middle, open receiver inside the 10-yard line. That's going to be a Clemson Tiger first down, and it will be first and 10, essentially a first and goal as the Tigers rush down the field. Boyd takes the snap. Again, look at his offensive line, giving him time. Incomplete. He was looking for Humphreys, and it just fell incomplete. Adam Humphreys. 13 receptions on the year. One of the lower guys on the list after Watkins, Hop, Hop, Watkins, Hopkins, Allen, and Brown. Third down and 12 after that unsuccessful running play. Boyd. End zone. Touchdown, Clemson Tigers. It took the ref a couple of moments to throw his hands up there. But that is going to be a Clemson Tiger touchdown. Jaron Brown was the man that did it. That is the fifth touchdown of the year, and it's 21 unanswered Clemson Tiger points in this first half. Unlike this Gary Patterson defense, but this Clemson team might be unlike anything that TCU has seen all year in terms of speed and quickness. And with Casey Paul Hall just being out of sync with his receivers, Things like that happen, and again, we might be able to att uh, attribute the travel to why the struggles are going on. TCU having to travel all the way from Texas as being the lower seed, where Clemson had the short hop from North Carolina down to Tampa. So maybe traveling is playing a role in this one. Hall, Hall, there we go. Now we're getting on track with our wide receivers. Timeout was called by TCU. Three wide receivers on the near side. Keep your eye down there. Paul Hall completes it, and we're across midfield. No huddle now. 20 seconds to go, one timeout left for TCU. Screen pass. Ed Wesley fighting for a first down, and that will stop the clock temporarily as the chains get set. Pressured. Incomplete in that one. I dare say was just intentionally grounded. So that uh, they can avoid the sack. Nine seconds to go. Perhaps time for one last heave and then a timeout. Paul Hall. End zone. Touchdown! No heave for a timeout. We're going for a heave and a touchdown. Sky Dawson. Outrunning the coverage. Great pass for a man that hasn't been in sync with his receivers. He laid out a beautiful pass. Gary Patterson, the one-minute drill designed there for a 44-yard grab from Casey Paul Hall to Sky Dawson, and the TCU Horned Frogs are right back in this game. Wow. This is the Bowl Championship Series. This is what it is all about, fans. The Beef O'Grady's Bowl, the Bowl Committee, and where will these guys go next? If Alabama beats NIU, then Alabama will have first choice of their second round bowl game. We don't know what that'll be. we got to see what LSU does, because if LSU wins, they'll probably take the Chick-fil-A Bowl. But if one of these two teams wins, then NIU pulls the upset. Clemson, TCU, they get a chance at picking the second round game. TCU can go to the Alamo Bowl in the second round. It's just all kinds of up for grabs. Fans, we're at the half. We're going to send it upstairs, and we'll be back after this.
Welcome back to Tropicana Field inside the dome with the multi-million dollar projector showing the Tampa Bay sky on the dome. One of the coolest things I've ever been a part of. It's the first game of the Bowl Championship Series. ACC champions number 15 Clemson against Mountain West number 18 champions. The TCU Horned Frogs. Here's game tracks. Clemson, 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 and then TCU. It was all Clemson in the first half. After an initial great opening drive by the Horned Frogs, it was all Clemson Tiger offense. The Frogs answered back with a one-minute drive put together by Coach Gary Patterson. And they're right back in this game. And now they get the ball to start the second half. If they go down and score, it's only a four-point game. Ed Wesley right up the middle. Fighting through, breaking tackles left and right, finally brought down. Actually, that wasn't Wesley. That's part of that uh, TCU Horned Frog three-headed must. Those three running backs like to see. That was actually Matthew Tucker who ran the ball. And, of course, Tucker, James, and Ed Wesley, part of that three-headed TCU monster. Casey Paul Hall, 11 of 19, up, to, up over 100 yards. First and ten now for TCU. Inside handoff to Wesley. Wesley is yanked down. Actually, again, no, not Ed Wesley. I apologize. That was Tucker. Second and 14, and we have Wesley who takes a direct snap. Ed Wesley barrels down forward and gets back to... So that doesn't work either. Now it's third down and 12 for TCU. 21 to 10. Clemson leads the Horned Frogs. Paul Hall pressured. Open receiver. First down Horned Frogs. Across midfield. Josh Boyce, number 82. Nabbing it. There you see the horned frog. He's excited. He feels a rally. He can feel the comeback. Could we be a part of something special here today? We got a whole day of bowl championship series games lined up for you fans. It's going to be fun. Inside handoff to Ed Wesley. Three yard gain. So the running game trying to get on track. It's been moderately successful here and there, but in the long run, it's it struggled just a little bit. Second and seven. Paul Hall takes it himself. Open grain. First down, TCU. Casey Paul Hall does it himself. Had the open gap and slid down for the first. Second down and 10. Empty back. Five wide receivers. Batted away. Incomplete. And that's what we call really good defense by Richard Hall, the safety. Second and 10 now. Paul Hall takes it. Hands it to Wesley. Three yard pickup. Again, not Ed Wesley. I'm get, i got to stop saying that before I see the number. That was Matthew Tucker. That, this three-headed monster, you never know who they're going to stick out there. Third and seven. Paul Hall takes it himself up the middle. They did what they did, or he tried to do what he did last time on third down. This time Patterson said, just try it again. Didn't work, and TCU has to settle for a field goal. Let's see if they get it. Kick is away. Kick looks. No, good. It is no good. More frustration for the Horned Frog fans as Ross Evans, who's been perfect inside the 20 to 40 yard range, shanks that kick. TCU right now just hurting themselves with mistakes. Boyd took it himself on that one-yard carry, or lost the yard, negative one-yard carry. Play action fake, option play, no go. Loss of four. 
Andre Ellington. Over 1,000 yards rushing this year. 10 touchdowns. Third down and 15. Can the Horn Frog defense hold? Boyd. Looking for... Oh, intercepted! Intercepted by TCU. He's going all the way. All the way back inside the six. That's a game changer. Greg McCoy, the corner. And now Clemson fans have their faith in their hands. The second interception of the year. And the defense helping out the offense. Ed Wesley takes the direct snap. He wants a face mask call. Ed Hockley Jr., the ref who does all these BCF playoff games, even uh, amazingly enough, he's in two places at once sometimes when these games are both going on. Not calling a flight. We haven't seen a single penalty yet here in the Beefo Brady's Bowl. Second and goal. Handoff. Is that Tucker? No, it's Wesley this time. I can't get these guys down. Tucker, Wesley. I don't know who's running. Third down and goal. TCU does not want to squander this golden opportunity. Clemson has the line stacked. The Horned Frogs have the line stacked. Third down and goal. That's Ed Wesley. He gets hammered by the Clemson Tiger brick wall. Fourth down. And TCU will have to settle for the field goal. This one's got to be makeable for Ross. Indeed it is. Kick is good right through the uprights. And that makes it an eight-point game. Ross Evans. So now you see the TCU fan, you see the Clemson fan. It's a purple clad day here at the Trop. And TCU down by just eight. It's going to be Clemson football now. How does Boyd respond? Both quarterbacks have thrown an interception. Taj Boyd looking to redeem himself. The chippiness continues down on the field at the Trop. Boyd. Knocked away. And that was a... No, was it caught? It was caught. Hard. I thought it was knocked away. It was a dangerous throw in the coverage, but his, his man got it. So it's a first down. Let's move those chains for Clemson. Met right in the backfield. Beautiful tackle. By the TCU defense. Second and 13 now. Boyd. Sweet play. Inside. Three-yard game. Third down and ten. Will they get this playoff before we hit the end of the third quarter? Doesn't appear likely. No, it's not going to happen. That's the end of three. The first game of the Bowl Championship Series of 2011. It went to overtime last year. Just eight points separates the Clemson Tigers and the TCU Horn Frogs and what's been a hard hitting game to kick off the BCS playoffs. Who's going to move on to play either Alabama or Northern Illinois? We're just a few moments away from finding out who wants it more because it is anybody's ball game. It might as well just be a tie game right now. Boyd heaves it deep. Open receiver first down inside the red zone. No huddle offense and if you're a TCU fan, that's what you hate to see. If you're a Clemson fan, that's just more good execution by Boyd. Taj Boyd. That one is batted away incomplete. Fobbs got that one. Johnny Fobbs, the safety, the senior. He wants to send this TCU team out with a national title. He was there for these undefeated seasons that fell short in the BCS playoffs, and the Horned Frogs are in danger once again of an early exit. Great regular seasons. This Horned Frog team never been past the second round of the BCS playoffs. First down for Clemson. 
the Bowl Championship Series. Here we are. First and goal. Can Clemson put this one out of reach for TCU? Boyd. Pressure. Gets that one miraculously to his running back. Just threading the needle. And that's how good Taj Boyd is. Boyd drops back. He's going to run it. Nowhere to go. Brought down. Let's take a look on defense. Just a good job of the defenders getting through. And you see the big numbers. Number 90. And number 94 breaking through. That was DJ Yenderly, number 94. And of course, Stansley Mopega, number 90. Third and goal. Boyd. End zone. Touchdown, Clemson Tigers. Just lay out here and listen to the fans going crazy. Wide receiver Mark Han, Mark Han Jones. Here comes the point after attempt. And it is good. TCU finds themselves down by 15 points. And they're going to need a miracle to pull off this victory here at Tropicana Field inside the Dome. Let's see what the Frogs are made of. They're going to field a yard deep in the end zone, brought up to the 20, up to the 26-yard line. First and ten. Football at the 27. Sweet play. Seven-yard pickup. Sky Dawson. But now you're using a little too much time because you got to score twice in three minutes. Granted, you've got all your timeouts. But this Horn Frog team, they got to start moving. First down for TCU. That's a good start. That was Ed Wesley. I caught the 34 that time. First and 10 now. Paul Hall pressure. Down goes Casey Paul Hall. Quarterback sack. And now TCU, they got to bring everybody back. The Horn Frogs got to yank them all the way back. Second and 16. Paul Hall's going to run it. He's hit. That's a fumble. Clemson's got it. Clemson's going the other way. That's going to seal this one. Touchdown for the Clemson Tigers. Ch Chikoro Hawkins, the junior. His teammates going crazy. This stadium going crazy. Excuse me, this dome going crazy. And the Clemson Tigers have made it a 22-point lead. And for right now, unless TCU can pull off a miracle, it appears that the Tigers will be heading to the second round in another great season by TCU. Just two losses will appear to lead to a disappointing early exit. Gary Patterson has yet to make it past the second round of the BCS playoffs. Casey Paul Hall's going deep. Wide open, wide receiver. Who knows? Let's see. Let's not count. Let's not count too quickly. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Paul Hall. Screen. Caught. Probably would have been more well advised to just let that one hit the ground. Make it go incomplete. Three wide receivers on the near side here. Paul Hall drops back. Looking, looking, looking. Across the middle, knocked away. Good job on the diving deflection by Clemson. Third down and 11. The Tigers looking to make it to the second round. TCU struggling on the money down as you see there. 
Paul Hall. Pressure on the outside. Didn't even see him coming. Quarterback sack. On the cornerback blitz. Drop by number 15. Cornerback Sanzenbach. Fourth down and 18. TCU no choice but to go for it. Five wide receivers. Paul Hall steps up, heaves it to the end zone, intercepted, tossed into triple coverage. That is the third TCU turnover on the game. And Clemson appears to be heading to round number two. And that was the man that just had the sack. Corey Sensenbach with the interception, his second of the year. And now it's, oh, Clemson's going to add to the lead. All the way for the touchdown is Clemson Tiger running back Andre Ellington. Touchdown number 11 on the year for the 1,000-yard rusher. And you get the sense that the TCU defense stumbled out to the field. Not ready for that play because that was way too easy. Clemson has opened it up. It's about to be 42 to 13. What a blowout this was. Very unlike a Gary Patterson team as the Horned Frogs get ready to enter into the Big 12. This is not the way their Big 12 brethren wanted to see the Horned Frogs perform on the national stage in the Bowl Championship Series playoffs. Two minutes to go and it's uh, pretty much down to this is the run out the clock situation it appears. They're just going to hand the ball off and Ed Wesley's met at the line. Frustrating day for TCU. Without a doubt. Second and nine now we're down to a minute 30. Paul Hall, open man. And that's just been the story of TCU all day long completions. But Clemson defenders well played because they've been right there. And that one was to fullback Luke Shivers. Third down and seven. And complete. Third and seven turns into fourth and seven in the Horned Frogs. I think are waving the big white flag. They are punting it on fourth and seven. And the Clemson Tigers are going to be your 2011 Beef O'Brady's Bowl champions. They will move on to round number two and take on either the Alabama Crimson Tide or the Northern Illinois Huskies. And only time will tell who they will be fighting with in the second round. Taj Boyd. And you can tell TCU, they're not ready for this. They, I mean, not the game, but they're, they're just not ready for the rest of the, for the rest of the, how do I put it? They're not coming out at the end of this game prepared as, as typically you don't see guys missing tackles like that. TCU, they're just ready to get out of here and go home. Another early exit from the Bowl Championship Series for Gary Patterson and his Horned Frogs. We have our... Oh, come on, Ed Hockey Lee. Okay, there's a delay of game. I thought somebody had jumped offside, and I'm going to say you wait till 14 seconds left in the game to call a penalty, but delay of game, you got to call that. Inside handoff. That's going to do it. The final seconds will take away... 42 to 13. Your 2011 Beef O'Brady's Bowl champions are the Clemson Tigers.
Who will Clemson meet in round number two? No, their season does not come to an end today. They get a chance to move on to the second round. They will fight with either Alabama or NIU. And here was your play of the game. This was the one that certainly did seal it if it didn't. And that was the big 77-yard run. Big 77-yard run there by Andre Ellington. Gary Patterson. Hey, better luck next time, I guess. I mean, he keep, we keep saying that every year for this TCU team. They look like they're going to be able to make a pretty improbable run, but Taj Boyd, 13 of 17, almost 200 yard, over 200 yards passing, and the Tigers. Once again, they are your 2011 Beef O'Grady's Bowl champs, and they will move on to the second round. Let's take a look at these highlights once again. TCU had the early three points, but here's where Taj Boyd and the Clemson offense shredded this TCU defense apart in the first half when they went 21 unanswered. Boyd, again, under the face of pressure, took a shot to get it to Ellington. Ellington didn't have a bad game himself at two scores. And you see there was the other one. Touchdown, Clemson. The fumble, the fumble recovery for the touchdown. This is when TCU was trying to make their rally. Casey Paul Hall fumbled it, and it went all the way to the house. There were three Horned Frog turnovers, and you can't have that happen if you expect to move on in the Bowl Championship Series. Can Could we be looking at our national champions in the 11-3 or excuse me, the 10 and 3 Clemson Tigers. There was the fumble. Well, only time will tell. Let's take a look at some numbers and then we'll show you the bracket scoring summary. Here it was. After that, taking a look at the player stats Taj Boyd, 13 of 17, 263 yards, four touchdowns and the one interception. On the other side, his adversary, Casey Paul Hall, 15 of 27, 203 yards, but two interceptions. The running game, that deadly three-headed monster for TCU, only gained 38 yards, six yards. I mean, it just wasn't there today. Absolutely not at all. The rushing game, though, on the other side, it was there. Andre Ellington, 11 attempts, 89 yards, the touchdown, and then, of course, he had the one receiving touchdown, which we'll see. Coming up there, and there was 58 yards, the one receiving touchdown. Of course, you had Brown and uh, Sammy Watkins with the big 65-yard reception for the score. And on TCU side, you had missed field goals, and you had receivers that made receptions. Didn't get too far after that. Finally, taking a look at the team stat, stat comparison, TCU got them on the first downs. But on total offense, it was all Clemson Tigers, 362 yards of total offense. You see, they beat him on the rushing yards, got him on pass completions, passing yards was there. Third down, the money down, as John Elway likes to say. 7 for 10, 70% compared to TCU's 20%. It's part of the reason why the Tigers won that game. Taking a look at red zone efficiency, both teams 100% in the red zone. But you see there... Two field goals for TCU, two touchdowns for Clemson. Big difference. Three turnovers to Clemson's one turnover. And then you see the rest. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's take a look at those brackets. Taking a look at the brackets, you see Clemson, they'll move on. And they get the winner of either Alabama and NIU. As the Bowl Championship Series playoffs roll on.